I love Spain and I spent a lot of time in Spain and I've seen these sculptures being used today for devotional purposes but I've always wondered how to bring them out of their original context and in a museum, I work in a museum and among the paintings is a painting by Velasquez of the Immaculate Conception and that painting has a very strong sculptural feel about it and I was wondering how does he do it and then I started looking at sculptures of the same subject and there was the most incredible link between the two so it began with that, that sort of establishing that link and see, seeing if you could apply, apply it to other paintings and sculptures. You have the carved crucifixion that we saw earlier by Montagnès from the Carmelite Monastery. But it's amazing to be able to see these two together. And, um, and the NGA has done a very clever setup here where they've given back the, uh, the sort of arched top, thereby pushing out the body of Christ and giving it that incredible three-dimensional uh, quality. It's a kind of art that's not very well known, this idea of painting sculpture. And the main thing about it is that it's very realistic. And that realism is, is what people will be amazed by. Not only will it be an artistic experience, but for some, a, a real spiritual experience where it's almost as if you are in the presence of the saints of the Immaculate Conception of Christ's Passion. He is resigned, he's looking at you, he's in, wanting you to, to feel something, to feel empathy for what he's gone through. And then you take in the full reality of his passion by when you walk around it and you see this extraordinary back. Um, it's realism that goes further than realism and it's, uh, it's observation, it's naturalism. These, these works uh, basically allow you to have a very personal relationship with Christ and his passion. I, I very much hope that Americans will come and see this exhibition, uh, mainly because it's, it's a unique experience to see them outside Spain. These, these things have never left Spain before. It's only one place, it's only here for three months. Great painting, great sculpture, united into one. And this is something that uh, I've been very excited about is that in a way this kind of sculpture is, is a perfect work of art. The sculptures have this incredible power and I think you'll, you'll love them as much as I do.